Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna to be touching on a topic that we have yet to talk about on this channel, and that's whitetail habitat consulting. We are at the tail end of the hunting season, but we're not yet into the habitat season, so I thought that today would be a good opportunity to talk about it. Uh, I haven't really talked about this much in the past, mainly because I know that you guys come here to see the different habitat improvements that we're working on on our properties. You don't come here for self-promotion, and for the most part, I stay fairly busy without having to push my business. But I did wanna talk about this topic today because recently there have been some changes in my consulting career that I wanted to make you guys aware of, and also because because with these changes, there are going to be opportunities to help more of you guys out. And we'll talk about those changes towards the end of the video, but right off the bat, I did wanna talk about whitetail habitat consulting in general, and three main points. Now, we could talk about more than just three, but to make sure this video doesn't go too long, we're just gonna be talking about three main points. And the first one being, you know, what is whitetail habitat consulting? The second, who would benefit from having a consultation? And the third, what should you expect as far as the deliverables go if you decide to hire a consultant? So first, what is Whitetail Habitat Consulting? Now, if you're somebody who has watched this channel and likely other channels for a while, this explanation is probably self-explanatory, but for those of you guys who are new or, or maybe you're just unfamiliar, basically you're having somebody out to your property that understands how to manipulate the habitat to increase the probability that the local deer, which includes the bucks, are going to use that property during daylight while at the same time creating predictable movement in low impact hunting opportunities. There is a lot right there and while every property is laid out differently, that is what you should expect if you're having a habitat consultant on your property. They need to understand how deer relate to different habitat types. They need to understand how to create and manipulate existing habitat in order to encourage behaviors in certain areas creating that predictable movement, and they also need to understand how to hunt the property without applying too much pressure. And there is more to it than that, but that would be my general definition on what whitetail habitat consulting is. And guys, there's a lot of great consultants out there that know how to do exactly that. There are too many to name here and I wouldn't wanna leave anyone out, but I have personally learned indirectly from many of them over my 15 year habitat career. The next thing I wanna to touch on is who would benefit from having a habitat consultation. And this is somewhat of a, a difficult answer because I would say that most people would benefit from it. But there are definitely reoccurring themes or more common scenarios that, that I hear when landowners reach out to me. This first scenario is the most common. I get a lot of calls from guys who say their hunting experience on their land that they spent good money on is either not what they expected or, or, or not what they know it could be. They aren't accomplishing their hunting goals and they don't know what they can do to make those goals a reality. Most of them are either not seeing bucks on their property or when they do, those older bucks are coming through at night. And that would be the first group of landowners that I would say would benefit from having a habitat consultation, guys who are not meeting their hunting goals and they're not really sure what they can do to improve their property. Whether they're not familiar with low impact hunting, they're not familiar with habitat improvements. And just because you're not familiar with something, that does not mean that you're a bad hunter. We are all coming at this from a different place and sometimes you just have to chalk it up to that you don't know what you don't know and, and that's okay. The second group of landowners that I hear from a lot are guys that do understand habitat improvements, that they follow these channels, they follow the forums, that they put in food plots on their, their property, they, they hinge cut bedding areas on their property, but they don't really know how to put all the pieces together. They might be really close, but they just need a little help with one thing or another. Maybe it's access or with stand locations, or, or maybe it's adjusting a food plot location. They're almost there and they know it, but they just need a second set of eyes in the property to see what they might have overlooked. The third scenario that I hear a lot when landowners reach out to me to help with improving their properties is that they're doing it more as a gift or I guess more like paying it forward. For example, uh, it might be a father who wants to improve their property for his children so that when they get old enough to hunt that their hunting experience is more enjoyable than his was when he was younger. Or it could be a son who has a, a father who is getting older and he wants to set the property up so that his dad can have a, a really fun hunting experience you know for his last couple years and maybe get one last buck they know that they want to improve the property but they're not really sure how to go about doing it so having a consultation and having a written plan drawn up gives them a roadmap and a guide to changing their property for good and there are other scenarios we just don't have the time to touch on each and every one of them I guess that would be another scenario and one I hear sometimes is that life is busy and, and some guys just don't have the time to figure out 
you know, how to create predictable and consistent movement on the property. So they hire somebody else to help them out. But I would say that those are the three main scenarios that I hear, you know, the most often when guys reach out to me. Finally, I wanted to talk about the deliverables. What should you expect when you hire a Whitetail Habitat consultant? And this is also where I wanted to talk about the changes in my consulting career that I mentioned earlier. I've been consulting here in Michigan for the past several years, and recently I was talking with Sam Billhorn. Sam is a Whitetail Habitat consultant out of the state of Wisconsin. He's also the founder of Whitetail Partners, LLC. And Sam reached out to me to see if I'd be interested in being the regional consultant for the state of Michigan for the Whitetail Partners. I was honored to be considered for this and agreed to work as the Michigan consultant for the Whitetail Partners. I've known Sam for several years now, and one thing that really attracted me to Whitetail Partners is that they share the same desire for professionalism and for delivering high quality plans to their clients. Providing high quality reports was one of the top priorities for me when I worked on my own, and one of the main reasons I decided to join Whitetail Partners. And that's one thing that you need to make sure that you're getting when you hire a Habitat consultant. An in-depth, yet clear, easy to understand report or plan that shows you how to improve your property to create predictable deer movement, while at the same time, how and when to hunt your property. And every consultant is gonna have their preferred method, their preferred way of developing a plan. And I'm sure a lot of them are good, but I can say that the plans and the reports put together by the Whitetail Partners are top of the line. Each property design is put together on Google Earth, which is fully editable, meaning it's a living document, and it displays each recommended improvement on the property. What's really nice about having the plan done on Google Earth is not only the fact that it's fully editable, but you have the ability to rotate the map, the 3D terrain features, and also the historical images so you can kind of see how that property develops and evolves over time. Along with the habitat layout or the design on Google Earth, every client also gets a report. And sometimes these can be up to 60 pages detailing how to install each improvement, the concepts behind each improvement, a priority list, you know, what should you be working on first, an annual work calendar for your property improvements, hunting strategies, you know, pictures from our properties uh, on, on what the improvement should look like. You know, there, there's a lot more in it than just that. That's just what I can think of off the top of my head. But the idea behind that report is if you have a question, hopefully it is answered within that report. So those are the items that you're gonna be receiving that you can view, read, you know, hold in your hand, the, the physical items. But one of the biggest things that you wanna make sure that the consultant that you're working with is delivering on is accomplishing your goals, whatever those might be. We talked about that a little bit in the most common scenarios or reasons landowners contact me, but just make sure that before the job is done, you have a clear understanding on what you need to do to accomplish your goals. You know, that's the whole reason that you reached out in the first place. So again, guys, if you are going to have a Habitat consultant come out to your property, just make sure that you are confirming what you're going to get when it comes to the deliverables. I also mentioned earlier that with this new change in my consulting career, that we should be able to help more of you guys out. Previously, I was only able to help Michigan landowners. I'd get calls from guys all around the country looking to improve their properties, but again, I'd have to turn that work down and refer it to another consultant because I didn't travel outside of Michigan. And while that's still the case, I, I'm not leaving Michigan, but one of the cool things about joining the Whitetail Partners is that we have regional consultants around the country. So as a group, we have the opportunity now to help more landowners. Like I just said, I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be continuing to help out Michigan landowners. Sam Billhorn, he's your guy if you're in and around Wisconsin. If you're in and around Ohio, Greg is our consultant there. We've also got Lee Dixon down in Tennessee and Josh in Georgia. Each regional consultant brings years of experience to the table. And while each one of us have different backgrounds, we've all had different experiences, you know, each one of us was selected because we have a similar approach, follow the same concepts when designing a property layout. So hopefully if you are someone who is outside of my footprint before, you were in a different part of the country, you can now take advantage of the same service by contacting one of the regional consultants. And to close this video out, I think the main benefit to Habitat Consultation is that it could potentially save you guys years of experimenting with different habitat improvements in different parts of your property. Having an on-site visit along with a habitat plan put together is gonna give you a clear roadmap to improving your property. 
But guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you do have any questions on, on consulting or if you're interested in having a consultation done, you know, please reach out to us. I put in all of our information in the description of the video. We'd be more than happy to talk with you. If you do have any questions, again, please drop those in the comment section below. I'll get back to those as soon as I can, and we will see you guys in the next video.